Hi guys, Ace Face back with another video for you and this is my next Gene Stealer Cult update. And as you can see in front of you, we've got loads of Gene Stealer Cult. Um, and again, this was very much down to the support um, from another good friend of mine, Aaron from Shamrock Studios, um, or known on YouTube as Sergeant Shamrock, I believe. But again, as always, I'll put a link down below um, and you can see where you can contact him if you're interested in getting a commission. And as always, I'd heavily recommend that you do. The big thing that Aaron does uh, that is absolutely incredible, one, he um, has extremely competitive prices so you can get your army on the table really really reasonably which I know if you're like me that's one of the things that you really really want you know ultimately we all want to get our, our miniatures painted and on the table as quickly as we can and you know Aaron can do that for you and really kind of help and support you get your models on the table as quick as possible so he, he gives you really good turnaround times um, the quality of his work is really reasonable, very, very good. Um, he has lots of different um, qualities that he can work to. Um, for this particular project, I just wanted these guys done to the basic tabletop standard, just so they look good on camera, um, and so I could get them on the table as quickly as possible. But he can do whatever kind of quality you're looking for. He's uh, very much capable of achieving for you. So I came to him... Um, not that long ago, and I said, look, look, Aaron, I, I, I need my Gene Stealer Colt on the table. Can you help me out? Um, this is what I've kind of got. So we've been working together and trying to kind of come up with the best combinations, um, and this is very much what I've got. So on top of this, I do have my own Gene Stealer Colt stuff, which was the box set from the Death Watch Overkill. I also have... A vast, vast array of gene stealers, um, and I have the uh, trucks and the stone, stone crushers, rock grinders, whatever they're called, that you would have seen in the last video. Again, there'll be a link down below so you can see them. Um, and then on top of that, I've also managed to to get another box set of the Death Watch Overkill as well. Um, so I've got some more. Uh, guys from there. Um, what I am finding very very quickly is you can never have enough. This army is seriously seriously high model count. But anyway, I digress. That's maybe more of a tactic video that we'll talk about at another time. I do want to kind of focus in on what we've got on the table here. So what Aaron's done for me is he's done, as you can see at the front here, the three HQs for me. I already had the um, the Primus, so not the Primus, the Patriarch, so I didn't need another one of him. Um, but what I have got Aaron to do for me is a, another uh, Primus that you can see there. Again, really, really matching in with my own um, colour scheme. Um, he's, he's done a really good job on him. We've got a nice sort of scenic base as well there. Um, he's even, I didn't even ask him to do this, but actually my uh, poison pistol had kind of snapped off. Um, even before I sent him out, but actually he's already kind of converted him, given him a pistol, uh, it will work absolutely fine. Um, so we've got him. I'm really, really impressed with how he's got on with uh, my Magus. Uh, again, it matches very much in with the one that I've already got. Mine has got green um, robes at the front, so the two of them will stand out being different, but very matched together. So really, really pleased with him. And then we've got the the big icon bearer, the um, Acolyte Onward, or something like that he's called. Um, still quite new to these guys, so still learning it. Um, but he's obviously a, a, a unit you have to have for the detachment. So we've got those three characters. I'm really, really happy how they've come out. Um, and then if we kind of scroll to the side, zoom out a little bit, we've got two big units of the um, Neophytes. Um, they're basic, mainly all basic, because I'll show you why in a minute. But basically you've got um, two big units. I think I can almost make out of these, I can probably, with the heavy weapons as well that I'll show you in a second, I can more or less make three units of uh, the Neophytes, 
or I can have um, just two big units, um, whatever I kind of decide I want to, I want to, uh, to to do. They've both got their um, nice little icons in. We've got a couple of the grenade launchers for good measure, and we've got a kind of sergeant leader guy. Uh, very very basic. I don't want to spend too many points on these. I don't think that they are your best option in the game and again this is more of a conversation for another time but I think you generally want to keep these at a minimum if you're running the, um, the detachment and focus more on your close combat guys because that's where the Gene Steeler cult really sort of find their feet and as you can see here there's the other unit again and as you can see from the, from from um, where we're looking at them really really nice effective finish to the army looks really really clean and crisp um, really really is a nice tabletop standard very very happy with it and if we scroll then to this side you can see my heavy weapons and specialist weapons so we've got the heavy weapons for the acolytes so we've got the 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 uh, rock grinders and the cutters the other ones I think actually the other ones might be the cutters I can never remember the, the difference between the two the three weapons but basically the the again I'm going more into tactics here guys but the the two different weapons we've got here are the ones to go for um, the one with the special rule snip which kind of looks like a big pair of scissors uh, it's very very um, situational and not the upgrade that I would go for can be good but it's uh, you know ultimately generally the sort of things you're going after um, if if they're really really good stuff that actually think oh I might get a lucky instant death on they've probably killed you before you even get to use it so um, unlikely with those anyway I kind of try to digress again apologies and then behind what we've got there is you've got all the, the the shooty heavy weapons so we've got four lots of the mining laser two from the um, the overwatch box because I threw in another box as well when I sent them off to him and I've got two of my preferred weapon which is the uh, the seismic cannon which I think is a really really good weapon so that's my heavy weapons then if we kind of look back we can kind of go over to this side and you can see just behind behind the um, the neophytes we have four of the brothers the um, aberrants um, again pretty basic but really really nice clean finish on them um, I don't think I will use these guys too much but they do have a role within the cult um, and now with the existing ones that I've already got we've got eight of them painted and another four to come as well so we've got a nice lot of those as well and then behind them which is when we start to get to the real meat and potatoes of this army because this is the these are the units that I really do rate we have got two big units of metamorphs and they're all kitted out with with lots of the different options I wanted them to have an icon that's visibly I've done a bit of a conversion work on that I wanted to have um, lots of whips and quite a few claws in there um, I still think I want a few more claws I've probably only got about four in all and I probably want closer to probably eight so I'll probably do some more of those but you can see there I've got two beefy units they generally form part of the um, subterranean uprising um, but what I can do obviously if I'm running the de decorium as well one unit needs to be in there as well and then what completes the force that you'll see sort of all along the back is all the small units of acolytes so again these are a bit I've all kind of mixed them up at the moment but I've got another well probably six units of acolytes that are here I've then got the two uh, units of acolytes that you can make out of the death watch overkill box and I have the heavy weapons that you saw at the beginning as well so we've got enough to make quite a lot of acolytes I do personally think I need more I think they, uh, they, they're they quite nice in units of 10 they're very very killy in units of 10 if you're doing a bigger game and particularly if you're not allying in um, so having big units is, is is good. You don't want to go any bigger than ten, otherwise you're you're wasting it because they're very very killy in small units. So you just want enough to potentially take a bit of Overwatch and make sure they get in there because with so many attacks they will absolutely cause havoc with all that rending. Um, I've decided to not have any kind of leaders in any of the acolyte units. Try and keep them down on price, and actually I quite like having a few flamers in there. I think having a few flamers is tasty. Um, it's nice for Overwatch. Watch. It's also nice if you get that assault roll and potentially they've they've tried to counter that by bubble wrapping. 
because a few flamers can quite often take out that bubble wrap um, and still give you the option to charge what you want to charge. So it works really quite nicely. Um, but anyway, so that's the false. Um, the false is now ready for the table. I have been using it. You'll see some better reports to come. I still want to add more acolytes. I want to add more metamorphs. But on the whole, this arm is ready to go and you'll see it on the table very quickly. But as I said, thank you very, very much to um, Sergeant Shamrock Aaron from um, Shamrock Studios. Um, please do check out the link below and do drop over there and see if you want to get a price on your next commission. But thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.